Hey there and welcome to the club. Today I'll be showing you how to draw a heat blast from band 10. So let's get started with the eyes. I'm drawing oval on the left side, but we're going to leave the left side edge open. Starting on the left, we'll curve up, drawing an oval, coming down to the bottom, and leaving a little gap on the left side. Let's do the same thing on the right. Starting on the outside, we'll go up to the top, circle around to the bottom, and then leaving a gap open on the right. From here we're going to take the top edge and just draw an angled line coming down to the side of the head on both sides. From here we want to curve up the side of the head to the top. So from the left we're going to go straight up and curve in, and on the right we'll do the same thing. So I'm going straight up and then curving in. From here we're going to draw two angled lines coming in towards the center of the head. So just angling them in at the same height, and then we'll draw a straight line across to connect them. From here let's go back to the bottom of the eye and just draw an angled line going out again to the side of the head. Now from here we're going to draw two angled lines coming down the side of the cheek. Coming down towards the chin area. From here we want to draw sort of like a half circle on the top for the edge of the mouth. So from here I'm just going to curve around and come down. On the right we'll do the same thing. We're going to connect those two points with a straight line across for the top of the mouth. From here let's move on down. We're going to draw a straight line just below it. From here I want to curve out on both sides, left and right. We'll connect those two points for the bottom chin with a curve. It goes across like that. Okay, so we've got the center of the face. Let's draw in the neck collar. So just below the chin, I'm going to draw a straight line across the bottom. From here, we're going to curve up the sides of the collar towards the side of the head. So on the left, I'm going to curve up just along the side of the head, up to about the same height as the eye. Do the same thing on the right side. Now let's angle down the side of the collar. So coming down at an angle, on both sides. Now we're going to pull this down, following that same curve, down to the bottom of the collar. Starting on the left, we'll curve down. On the right, we'll curve down. Now we'll connect those two points with a curve along the center, coming down in the middle and back up on the right. From here, let's layer in the flame on top of the head. So from this point of the collar, I'm going to draw a little wave, going out and then up. We're going to circle around, so curling around like this, and we're going to repeat that same shape. It's almost like an elongated S. From here we want to go up to the top of the flame, so we're going to bring this up to about here. So curving down, up, and then pulling it over towards the right. From here we're going to swirl around, curving around with a shorter curve, so they're going to stop a little bit lower than that top point. Now we're going to do the opposite of what we have on the left. Curving down, and then swirling around, and then up. Do that again. We're going to curve around, swirling around, and then up. Now we want to make our way back down to that side of the collar. So we're going to curve in towards the head, and then just pull it down to that point. Okay, so we've got the head area. Let's get into the body. I'm going to start with the shoulder line first. So just beside the head here, between the flame and the collar, I'm going to draw a curve that goes out towards the left, and then goes out towards the right. Okay, so this is going to set up our body. So now from here, I want to draw in the chest. So imagining like almost like a V-shaped upper torso. On the sides of the shoulder, I'm going to come down, on the left side, right here. This is where the armpit's going to be located. On the right, we'll come down at the same height and draw a point. We're going to curve in the top chest area. So curving in on both sides. Now we want to draw the waist coming down to the hips. So we're going to draw it down to about here. So drawing a straight line with a slight angle coming inwards. From this point, let's layer in the arms. So from the shoulder points, I want to draw the outside of the upper arm. So from this point, I'm going to curve out and towards the left. Let's draw in the inside part of the arm. I'm going to draw a curve that goes the opposite direction, curving in towards the elbow. From here, let's draw in the outside part of the hand and the arm. So here, from the elbow, we're going to draw some really big, long arms with really big hands. So from here, I'm going to curve out and then in. On this side, we're going to draw in the opposite direction. So we're going to curve down towards the wrist, down this way, and then we're going to round out the thumb. So I'm going in the opposite direction out this way. Let's cap off the thumb with a little straight line like this. Now this is the hand area right here, right where the wrist line is. So we're going to take this point, curving up towards that center point between the finger and the thumb. From here I'm going to curve down the first finger. Now let's cap off the first finger, going across with a straight line. Now we're going to pull this in and up. We're sort of tapering it so it gets a little bit wider as it gets towards the knuckle. Let's layer in one finger. So we're going to step down here, draw a curve, 
We'll cap off that finger. Now here I want to draw it just past the outside part of that hand. So I'm just going to curve it up like that. We'll take this line and just extend it so it gets tucked in behind that second finger there. Let's take that and draw the same thing on the right side. So we start with the outside part of the arm first. So taking the shoulder line down towards the elbow. So curving down. We'll draw in the inside part of the arm. So from here, I'm going to curve it inwards towards the elbow point. Now from here we can draw in the wrist area. So we're going to take this point in the elbow, curving down towards the wrist. So curving down. Probably make that a little bit longer to match up the height. Now from here we're going to take the outside part of the elbow and curve out the outside part of the hand. Now we don't have to draw it all the way through. We're just going to draw a curve just to start it off. From here let's draw in the thumb. And here we're going to curve the thumb, just like we did here on the left. Cap off the thumb. And curve that up. Up here. We're going to curve the inside of the first finger. So curving down. Cap that off. So we're basically just mirroring what's happened on the left side to the right. We'll draw this curve going up the first finger. Now let's lower down. Draw an overlapping finger. Cap that finger off there. And we're going to pull this up. And then we're going to take this line and just tuck it in behind that second finger there. Let's go ahead and draw in the legs. So from the waist, we're going to curve down towards the knee, which I'll take down to probably about the same height as the hands. So from here, I'm going to curve down and out on both sides towards the knee. From here, let's go down to the center lower torso. So below the waistline, we're going to come down to here and draw a short, straight line across the middle. Let's draw the inside part of the leg. So from here, I'm going to draw a curve that goes in towards the knee. So curving in. So we're going to drop this a little bit lower than the outside part of the knee. Curving the same thing on the right side. Let's draw the front of the leg, the lower leg. So from here, I'm going to draw a straight line going down, right to the ankle. On the right, we'll do the same thing, going straight down towards the ankle. Now we're going to draw the back of the leg, the calf. So from here, I want to curve the muscle of the calf out. On the right, we'll do the same thing. Now I'm going to draw a little curve that goes in towards the ankle and then straighten it out as we come down towards the bottom. So curving in, and we're going to straighten it out as we get really close towards the ankle line here. On the right side, we're going to curve in, and as we get close, we're going to straighten it out, leaving a little gap along the ankle. Let's draw on the foot. From this point, we're going to angle in for that little heel spike. We'll curve it down towards the bottom of the heel. Now for the foot, I'm going to draw almost like a curved line across the bottom of the foot. So right here at the toe, we'll curve up towards the heel. Now from the toe, I'm going to curve up. Now I want to draw a little oval that splits the two toes. So I'm going to curve around and then back to that point. From that toe, I'm going to step up and draw a short little straight line across. So it looks like a toe is behind that first toe there. From this point, I'm going to curve above the oval, right to about there, and I'm going to reverse the curve going up towards the ankle. Let's do the same thing on the right side. From the heel, we'll do that little heel spike. I'm going to curve down to the heel. Now we're going to draw the length of the foot. Curving across, making sure they're roughly the same length. Now I'm going to curve the top of the front toe, going back, and we'll draw that little oval. Now from the toe, from the tip of the toe, we're going to step back, draw a straight line across. We're going to curve above that oval. Curving above the oval, and then we'll curve up in towards the ankle, just to merge that up. Now we can go in and start creating those little separations, little plates along the body. Down here in the center of the chest, we're going to start with that circle, that little insignia. Draw a circle in the middle. We're going to trace that out on the inside, so drawing a slightly smaller circle inside. Now we want to draw that little crisscross. So on the left side, we're going to go in and then back out towards the left. On the right, we'll go in and back out towards the right. Now let's start creating those little segments. We want to leave a little gap in between the plates, in between each of the plates. So on the left side here, from the collar, we're going to step back, go out, and we're just tracing around the outside of that collar. From here, we're going to draw a curve. Now these don't have to be perfectly symmetrical. They could be just misshaped. We're going to go up. I'm going to curve this out. I'm going to start on the left side arm here. So again, I want to leave an even spaced gap between each of the plates. So I'm just tracing on the outside across the arm. Around the elbow area here, there's a little separation. So up here from the elbow, we'll curve down, then right into the inside part of the elbow. From the elbow, we'll curve down, and then go across. So you can see there's an even gap in between each of the plates. Up here, we go across, come down towards the wrist, 
and go across again. And here I want to create another little plate here. Go across to the side of the arm. Let's draw one more on the outside of the hand. I'm just going to draw some random shape here. And then one little guy on the thumb. Let's go to the right side and draw the plates across the shoulder and the right arm. So up here again, we're going to leave that gap. We're going to go across. We're going to come down. Now here I want to go up along the shoulder and then down. So from here, I'm going to go up, come across, and then up. From here, let's draw in the chest area. So up here in the armpit, I'm going to go across here. Now this goes in behind this little uh, insignia in the chest. So we're going to go across above that insignia, come across the body, do some jagged lines up towards the rib cage. I'm going to do one down here. So again, following that curve or that line towards the center of the body, we'll go down here and towards the waist. Now I want to fill this gap area in here. So I'm going to start up here, going across, down, and then again just tracing the inside edge. We'll go down to the lower torso, so from this hip, and go across and then straight down into that lower torso, go up at an angle, and just do a hard turn out. Let's go back to the right arm, just finish this one off first. So from the armpit, I'm just going to trace out that area there. From the elbow, we'll go up that. We'll do one down the inside part of the arm. Again, doing some hard turns. Going down this way. Draw a little one down here. Looks like a square. We'll draw one on the side of the arm here. Let's go to the left leg. We're going to trace this on the inside. Going down. We'll do a little separation on, along the knee area here. That. Down the shin, we'll go in the opposite direction like that. And then here we're just going to draw some little bits along the bottom like that. Let's go to the right side. So we're going to do a split up here. We'll do one in the back of the leg going across, maybe down the calf, across like that. Here we'll trace this out. And we'll draw one little plate down here. Maybe one more on the bottom. And that is pretty much it. There we have it. There's Heat Blast from Ben 10. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.